What is that talent? What are those talents that you have within yourself that actually you want to play out as part of your life? Let me ask you a question. Remember when you were a kid and people used to walk up to you and say, hey, what do you want to be when you're older? And they'd pitch that question in a way that was so like definitive, like you had to come back with one clean answer. Otherwise, the other alternative is I don't know because if you have multiple things then because you're asking me for one thing, well, I don't know which one to choose. And they put us in a place where it's like you got to choose. What do you want to be when you are older? The question doesn't really leave room for multiple different answers within that realm. That is what I wanted to talk about today because each of us, each of us has different sides to our personality. We're not all single faceted. We're not all single faceted. Faceted? Is that a word? I don't, let me know in the comments if that's a word. Facet. We're not all single faceted um, and, and like just, you know, singular in our approach to life. Like you may wake up one day and you may really enjoy art. The next day you wake up and you think, wow, history is amazing. And then three weeks later, you're looking up at the sky and you think, wow, how do planes even fly? I want to understand that. And there's all these different questions that sort of come up in our head and we're all so like diverse in, in the things that make us us. Yet, the way the world seems to be set up and the system that we live in is like at the age of 17, 18, you gotta choose one thing and then that's it. Like you get shoved into a rabbit hole and you get told this is what you're doing. And yeah, you know what? There's all the, the sort of advice in the world to say, choose something you're good at. But what if I'm good at more than one thing? What if I'm good at this and I'm also good at this? And I'm gonna give myself as a, as a personal example, just to put some context to this, is that when I grew up, yes, I was good at maths and I was good at physics and I loved planes. So it sort of made sense for me to, to go down the rabbit hole of aerospace engineering, because planes, maths, physics, I love that. But during my life, like during the past probably five years, I've realized that there's another thing that I absolutely love and it like shakes me to my core and that's personal development. But there's a specific niche of personal development, which is I love teaching people personal development. I love actually articulating these ideas and complex co concepts sometimes into words, to simple words where people can go, oh my God, I get that. And I love seeing people when that, their paradigms shift and they start to understand the world a little bit more clearly. And I've been told that I'm actually decent at that. I've been told that I'm good at that. So there was a long time where that conflicted with my, my engineer side of me. You know, I've, I've set myself up to be an engineer or when people ask me, what do you do? I say, I'm an engineer, I work at Heathrow Airport. But all of a sudden part of me is like, you know what, I really enjoy like communicating ideas to people and shifting their mindsets, like a motivational speaker. I really enjoy speaking in like a, in a, an inspirational way and really getting people to be more clear about their goals and their ambitions and how they view the world. For a long time I was torn. It's like, how? How is it that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm this but I'm also this? And it wasn't until somebody said something to me that really hit me and they said to me that God has given us more than one talent. You don't need to live your life only fulfilling one of those things. And that hit me really hard because it, it, it resonated deeply. It's like, I'm good at this, but I'm also good at this. And this is a very, very different thing. So I've come to terms with the fact that, you know what? As part of my life, I don't want to just do one thing. I want to do loads of different things. And I want to try and experiment and really discover myself as part of the journey. And I want part of my life to be being a motivational speaker, traveling the world, speaking to people, inspiring people. I want that to be part of my journey. This is Wembley Stadium. And I want to sell out Wembley Stadium. That is my goal. I don't want to be just working as an engineer forever. Yes, I'm going to be an engineer for now. And I'm going to give it my best shot. And I'm going to do my best at it. But at some point, I don't want that to define me. I don't want the, the fact that I'm an engineer to be the be all and end all of Mohammed Taha. Like Mohammed Taha is just an engineer. Moti, that's, he's just an engineer. That's all he does. No, there's a lot more to me. and. This sort of internal reflection I want to put outwards and I want to tell each of you to reflect as well. What is it that is within your own capabilities? What is, ta what is that talent? What are those talents that you have within yourself that actually you want to play out as part of your life? You don't want to just keep them on the back burner and keep them as a hobby. Why not try and make that part of the thing that makes you you for a certain period of time throughout your life? And that's the message I really want to leave each of you with today is and reminding myself as well that actually God's given us more than one talent we don't need to focus in on just one of those and for the 60 70 80 100 years of our lives just show the world that one talent actually if you are lucky enough to discover more than one talent throughout your life and especially if it's something that you enjoy then show the world that 
craft your life in a way where you get the opportunity to show the world more than just the one thing that you're good at but actually the plethora of different things show them your true personality let your personality shine be open about the fact that you want to be this one day and that the other and that's okay and that doesn't define you actually you're just a free spirit who's here to give the world the best of what they have and not be defined by one job title for the rest of their existence that is the message that i really wanted to get across today and i hope that you'll be able to shift some of your perspectives about how you want to plan out the rest of your life to, to realize that you don't have to just choose that one thing actually be open with yourself go easy on yourself let yourself discover let it be a playful adventure throughout the journey of your life don't take yourself too seriously just because two years ago you told everybody that you want to be this does you can change your mind you can today wake up and be like nah you know what i actually don't want to be that anymore i want to be this and that's okay that's fine that's good that means you're discovering yourself don't let other people's perceptions of who you are dictate what you're going to do for the rest of your life i hope you have a blessed day i hope you have an amazing week ahead of you let me know what you think about this perception. What are the talents that you have? What's the, what's the things that you want to show the world about your own personality that the world wouldn't be the same without? Let me know, I'd love to hear it. And thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Be sure to stick around. There's gonna be a lot more content this, like this where I'm just talking to the camera, expressing myself, expressing my thoughts rather than just sort of engineering focus. Because like I said, there's more than one side of me. I don't want this YouTube channel to shovel me into a specific niche where that's all I am. I am more than that. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.